Hey, Sea Trippin' friends. We're back today to tell you about one of the excursions that we did in Roatan, Honduras. That's right. We see all the time on all the Facebook groups, people asking, what is there to do? What beach do I go to in Roatan and all that? Well, we're going to tell you the excursion that we did that we had the most awesome time. Yes, that's right. We had so much fun. We already have it booked again for <laughs> next year that's to right. take our daughter and her friend. That's right. So we would like for you to like and subscribe if you found anything in here interesting and just sit back and enjoy our tale. Right. We'll be right back. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We knew that we wanted to go to the Daniel Johnson Monkey and Sloth Hangout on Roatan. That is the number one reason we booked this cruise. <laughs> That's right. This monkeys, playing with monkeys was on Kim's bucket list. So we had done research. We found out that this place was on Roatan. It looked amazing from all the internet stuff that we had seen, mm -hmm. pictures and everything. So we knew that this was the excursion that we wanted to do. Now, there, when looking online at the excursions through the cruise, there were excursions that said you got to play with the monkeys and yeah, sloths yeah. and stuff, but we couldn't tell. There's evidently a couple of different ones on Roton, right. but we knew that we specifically wanted to go to Daniel Johnson's. So we looked outside of the cruise line and we went with uh, one we found on Shore Excursion Air. Right. Yeah. Um, you don't have to book your excursions through the cruise line. I mean, you definitely can if that makes you feel more comfortable. That's what we did for the longest time. <laughs> yeah. We were scared. I'm nervous. To, we were scared to book outside of the cruise. We didn't want to like take the chance of not getting back in time. But we, we started venturing out and exploring some other options and they can save you a lot more money. That's right. So from Shore Excursion Air, we booked this crew or this excursion <laughs> and it was Daniel Johnson's Monkey Hangout, a drift snorkel, mm -hmm. and uh, a beach break at Little French Key. Yeah. All for $69. Yeah, pretty it, awesome. It, it seemed a little too good to be true, but <laughs> we went ahead and booked it. Yeah. Um, once we booked it, we found out that it was actually through ROA, which is Roatan Ocean Adventures. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll provide links for both those, the Shore Excursion Air and uh, ROA in the comments below. Yeah. But um, yeah, we had an amazing, amazing, amazing time. Amazing time. Now, we woke up that morning, <laughs> pouring rain of course <laughs> of course like the number one day we're looking forward to the most and it's raining and it's forecast to rain all day long all day yeah. well i am not missing my excursion i am going <laughs> rain or shine to play with those monkeys <laughs> i'm not gonna miss it <laughs> so our uh, the excursion said we were supposed to meet an hour after we ported right so we waited that a little bit of time. We're still a little early, mm -hmm. but once they said we were clear, we went ahead and got off. You have to walk through the port. They don't meet you there at the port. They meet you right outside, they say. So yeah. we went through the port, went through the exit. I think you kind of go up a little hill and then downhill. Of course, this is all in pouring rain. <laughs> and um, as we're coming down the hill, we saw somebody out there holding up a sign that said ROA. Right. And uh, they knew us right away. We said, hey, we're with you. And they said, hey, Kim's got... Um, mm -hmm. We went ahead and got in his car. I believe the driver's name was Herbert. Yep, Herbert. Awesome. And yep. um, he took us first stop to the monkey place. Yep, it was just him and I in the car. He Herbert was our own personal driver for the entire day. He would take you wherever you wanted to go. He was the nicest guy. He grew up on the island, so he knew everything, told us all the stories, everything about it. That's right. I think it was only a 15 or 20 minute drive. There yeah, it wasn't Daniel very Johnson. long. Yeah, it wasn't very long at all. And he told us stories and everything, very personable, mm -hmm. the whole drive over there. Yeah. So once we got there, we got out um, and Luke Johnson actually met us and he was going to be our tour guide for the day at Daniel Johnson's. And we were the only ones there. Oh, it was so great. We were the so first the ones first, to first, arrive. First ones there, only ones there. So let me set the, uh, it's still pouring rain, by the yeah. way. <laughs> yeah, it's still raining, but we made it. We were the only ones there. So we had the entire place to ourselves. It was amazing. Yeah. Now we there, loved it. In there, there's a lot of little covered places. So it's not like we were out in the open a mm -hmm, lot. Mm -hmm. So uh, the first thing we got to do was to hold the sloth. Mm -hmm. So um, you'll see some pictures. We'll post these as we're talking along. 
they are so cool. They're so docile. They're so cute <laughs> and just... They, they're much more photogenic than I am. <laughs> They're so awesome. You just sit there and hold them. You're not really allowed to like pet them. They don't want you to touch them a whole lot. They kind of just tell you how to hold your hands and then they place them on you and they kind of just hug you around the neck and they're they're just so cool. Yeah, so it was pretty <laughs> awesome. Plenty of pictures. Like I said, mm -hmm. Luke was great. He just talked to us, told us the history of the animals and that, you know what they like to eat, all the all the little facts as we're sitting there holding. Took pictures for us, you know. Yeah, and we didn't feel like we were rushed or anything, yeah. you know. We had as much time as we wanted. It was really, really cool. All right. So from there, we moved on to Kim's favorite, the, the monkey cages. Love it. Could not wait to get in the cages with the monkeys. Been looking forward to this for so, so long. Well, I was a little nervous. I've seen <laughs> all the Adam Sandler movies. I was waiting for that monkey to jump at my face, but, <laughs> but it wasn't too bad. Yeah, it was, you know, just him and I and Luke in the cage with the monkeys. And there was only... Two in there with us. Yeah, two. Two. Um, he gave us one of the younger baby monkeys. Oh my gosh, so adorable. They just climbed all over you. They're on your head. They're like down your shirt. They're just <laughs> all over the place. It was amazing. Before you even get in the cage, they have a little space for you to put away. Yeah. <laughs> any any uh, loose items so the, uh, the monkeys don't steal them and run off. Yeah, they'll take your hat, your sunglasses, <laughs> anything that they can grab and take, they'll take it and steal it. Um, you are allowed to bring your phones in. And so obviously you can take pictures and videos and what have you. And Luke even took some pictures and videos for us. Yep. It was awesome. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. All right. So from the monkeys, then you moved on to the macaws. Yep. We got to get into another cage with the macaws and all the different types of birds that they house there. And they are so pretty, so colorful. And he gives you little um, treats to feed them. You hold out your hand, they fly and land on your arm. They were, they land on your yeah. head. <laughs> yeah. We got some pictures with them on our heads and they were just amazing. So beautiful. Yeah. And it if they don't hurt it's you don't have to worry about getting scratched or anything like that so yeah it was it was again i was a little nervous I, i'm nervous <laughs> around the animals but it was a good time definitely a good time we loved it so much like i said we're going back for a second time <laughs> that's right we got we got to take our daughter back next yes. april we told her about all the things we did and she's excited to go go try it with us so yes looking forward to that again cannot wait all right, so once we're done with them calls, then they kind of usher you out through the gift shop mm -hmm. and you get to look around a little bit. And just as a side note, lots of cats <laughs> for those cat people, lots of cats to pet. Yes, there are little <laughs> cats roaming around. They just hang out there. So yes, if you love cats, you'll get to see some kitty cats. So, All right. so from there. Herbert was waiting for us. Yep, Herbert again. was waiting for us. So, and next he was going to take us to do the drift snorkel. That's right. And I think he lived two minutes from Daniel Johnson's. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> it, yeah. was, it was right there. Daniel Johnson's is right on the water. Mm -hmm. And uh, Herbert's, where they launched the boat, is just two, three minutes down the yeah, road. Yeah, you could literally just walk there. Yeah. Um, but yeah. it was raining, so yeah. obviously we drove. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Yeah, it was very close. So we get to the drift snorkel place, Herbert's. Mm -hmm. And again, it's still pouring rain. And we're kind of, uh, do we really want to snorkel? It's yeah. rainy. It's, it's kind of chilly. Chilly and rainy and the water looks a little rough. I'm like, I'm not too crazy about getting in the water if it's that wavy. But they they convinced us. Um, it was Preston and Garrick. Yep. They were going to be our tour guides on the boat. They convinced us to go. So we were like... All right, we're here. Let's do it. Yeah, they're like, come on. You paid. Get on the boat. At least take the boat ride kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, they're like, once you get out there, you won't even notice the, the waviness. And the water's still going to be clear. It's going to be amazing. You, you're not going to want to miss it. So they convinced us to do it. So we went ahead and got on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you. The most amazing snorkeling we've ever done. Yeah, really I mean, was. But, but we've done snorkeling in Key West and some of the other Blake Cosmo and stuff. And this was just, it, I was so surprised with it being rainy. It was so crystal clear. Yeah. And what this snorkel was, was it was a drift snorkel. Mm -hmm. So there was no, like, paddling involved. It You just kind of floated along over top mm -hmm. of the reef. Yeah. With the current. It was up. Uh, 
Yeah, and even in, even in the rain, like he said, the water was, it was pretty calm out there. And the, it was crystal clear. He saw all the fish and the coral and everything. And if you're not too comfortable in the water, they, they'll give you like those pool noodle floats yeah. um, to help you float around. Mm -hmm. um, so, so amazing. So fun. But again, uh, clearest, more fit. We've seen more fish there than we've seen at any of our other snorkeling. It, it was it was pretty great. Yeah, I'm so glad we didn't like. Yeah, we, we didn't we didn't like back out and yeah, chicken out. Yeah, I'm so glad we went ahead with it and and did it because it was awesome. Yeah. All right. So the whole time we're snorkeling, uh, they were just kind of drifting along with the boat also. So yeah, the they picked us right up once they, we were done with the. How long was the snorkel about? Oh, 30, gosh. 30, 45 minutes? Yeah, yeah it yeah. was a pretty good amount of time. Yeah, we were in the water for a long time. And it was just us. Yes, once again, yes. Yeah, just there us. were no other swimmers out there. It was just us. We had yeah. the whole who, <laughs> place. Who was, who was in the water with us? Was it Um Garrick or Preston? I don't, yeah. I'm not sure uh, which one was yeah. in the water with us. But somebody was in the water with us the whole time. Yeah. And he pointed out different fish and yeah. different things. And we came, and I don't know if you've ever heard about Roatan. You're right over the reef. And then there's that big drop off where it's like <laughs> dropping off a cliff. So we got to see the, the big cliff drop off. Pretty scary. That was scary, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like I said, it was great. So the boat was right there once we were all done. Mm -hmm. And they picked us up from there. Yep. And then once we got on the boat... They just drove us right over to Little French Key. Which, again... It, I was, it was very close. I want to say five, ten-minute boat ride at the most. Yeah, yeah. that, yeah. I mean, yeah. you can see it from where you're snorkeling. Yeah. You can see Little French Key. So, they take us there. They drop us off at the dock. They ask us, okay, well, how long do you want to spend here? What time do you want us to come pick you up? And so, we told them, and they, they left us there and let us enjoy our time. And yeah. then, at the specified time, they came back and... We were like, <laughs> we lost track of time. We were busy and we were supposed to meet him at the dock, but they had to come and find us on the island and say, hey, you guys ready? <laughs> so let's start. Once you get to the island, you're met, I guess, by a personal server, your server for the day. Oh, yeah. For us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she kind of walks in. She inter makes the introductions and kind of says, hey, I'm, I'm going to be your server for the day. Uh, we told her we wanted to kind of just walk around the island first rather than go get something to eat. Yeah. So we wanted to do investigating. So she said, just just find me. I'll, I'll look out for you. Mm -hmm. So we went ahead and just kind of explored the island a little bit first. Yeah. Um, on Little, little French Key, there's all kinds of different animals you can see. I mean, they've got jaguars. They've yeah, got... A couple um, jaguars. They have George the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> and you can get your picture with George the monkey. I mean... <laughs> he, he was a little bit scarier than the monkeys at Daniel Johnson's. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I did attempt to get my picture with him. The guy put him on my shoulder and... He was trying to take pictures, and the monkey kind of started hissing at him. <laughs> so it was a little, you know, freaked us out a little bit. But I got my picture with George. <laughs> yep, and so uh, I think they had a lion there also. Um, oh, it was, it was a, yeah. yeah, little guy. Yeah, um, they had chickens and roosters Rooster, and yeah. pigs, I think. I had some just all kinds of stuff. Had some geese. Had some geese that tried That's to chase right. us. Yeah, they chased us a little bit. Yep, yeah. and then the workers were laughing at us. <laughs> <laughs> But so once we got done exploring, you know, the animal part of it, we went ahead and made our way to like where the dock is, the mm -hmm. bar. They have a bar, um, a rope but, swing. I was going to say, well, they also have a little bar down there with the rope swings. Oh, yeah. That mm -hmm. were there at the bar. So that's kind of neat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we attempted to do the rope swing first. <laughs> I mean, but mind you, it's still raining. <laughs> it's still raining. Yeah, still raining. <laughs> Little French Key is not that busy right now because it's still raining. But so there's not that many people there. So Thank goodness. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I guess it would have been more enjoyable if it had not been raining, of course. But we were there, so we were going to just try everything they had. So we made our way up the little ladder to do the rope swing. That was fun. <laughs> But I did smack my leg on the water. I got a nice looking bruise from that. I did not enter very good. <laughs> I, I didn't either. No. I, did, I, did, I didn't get hurt, but I did definitely did do a little face plant on mine. Yeah, but I mean, it's worth a try. It was yeah, fun. It was fun. They've got um, swings yep. right there on the dock. You can swing out over the water. Yep. Um, they've got 
all kinds of things. I mean, plenty of chairs to lay out on like the beach and mm -hmm. stuff like that. For sure. And so we were getting a little hungry. So we found our server and sat down at the bar and um, we ordered some lunch and some drinks and they were great. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Great drinks. Little. They were not super strong, but a little strong. Yeah. Uh, we definitely filled them after the, the first one. I think, what did we get? Did we get nachos? We got some kind of nachos, I think. And like, now mind you, these are not included. You yes, get, the, right. the drinks and the food in our package anyway were extra. I mean, that's there right. are other packages where you can include that kind of thing, but ours didn't include food or drinks. So whatever we wanted from the bar, we had to pay extra for that, which, you know, that was fine. Yep. Totally fine. All right, so that kind of brings us up to uh, them trying to track us down on the island and say, I thought you guys were ready to go. Yeah, they found us in the bar, still <laughs> sipping on our drinks. They're like, hey, you guys ready? And we're like, oh, no. So, so yeah, we, we went with them, got back on the boat, and they uh, we took their boat back over to the little place, um, met Herbert again, our driver. Yeah, he was ready for us. Mm -hmm. We uh, try, We changed clothes a little bit since yeah. we, we were there's all a place, in swimsuits Yeah, and there's stuff. a little place there, bathrooms where you can change if you want to. Um, so he was ready to drive us back to the port, but we were like, dang, we forgot to buy a shirt. She, at had, Daniel, to, she had to have a Daniel Johnson shirt. Daniel Johnson's. I was like, Herbert, can you take us back to Daniel Johnson's? I want to buy a shirt. And he was like, yeah, so, sure. So we made a quick stop. I got to pet some more cats. She got a shirt. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then uh, we got back in the car. Yep. We got back in the car. He drove us to the port. Um, it was amazing. Yep. And we had plenty of time once we got back to enjoy the port itself, you know, do a little shopping. And or... just remember also that they aren't allowed to pick you up inside the port, but they are allowed to drop you back off in the port. So it was kind of nice. We didn't have to make that that longer walk. And That's it, right. it wasn't that long anyway, but, no. but they can actually drop you off in the port. They just can't pick you up in the port. Yeah. So that was good. Um, so yeah, then once we got back into port, um, it's still raining. Still raining. Still raining. <laughs> Rained all day. Still raining. Um, but we wanted to do a little shopping, so we we did the whole circle. We went to all the shops, um, bought a couple things. Yeah, Mahogany Bay. They did a really nice job with this port. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. They've got a, a nice little shopping section, mm -hmm. and then over on the other side, they've got a little beach, a nice little beach that's free. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to make this port and just stay in port all day, definitely. Could yeah, do that. you could definitely just utilize their beach there. And there's a, a nice big bar on their beach, and they have all kinds of drinks and snacks and food. Now the, those are extra. <laughs> extra. Um, there is if you don't want to walk to the beach, they have these chair lifts, right? Yeah. Uh, that you can pay extra, of extra. course. You can pay extra to ride the chair lift over to the beach area. We didn't do it. We didn't want to spend the money. Nope. And we're it was cheap. raining. We're cheap. So. <laughs> but they do, actually on walking over, they had a little nature trail too. Mm -hmm. so. They have like a little nature trail that kind of looks like a little rainforest. And we did walk through that. That was really, really neat. Just be careful if it's raining because some of the spots are slippery. <laughs> <laughs> but you get a nice picture of the ship there. Yeah, you do get some nice pictures of the ship out in the port. It was awesome. Yeah. yeah. So we made it over to the beach. Mm -hmm. It was still pouring, so we didn't really... Yeah, we didn't stay very long at the beach. Yeah, didn't stay very long. Yeah. But So that was kind of it. I mean, we just walked back to the ship and... Mm -hmm. and yeah, and after we were done, you know, exploring the port, we just, you know, walked back to the ship, got on... Dried off, <laughs> put on some dry clothes, and then you have the ship, you know, I mean, a lot of people are still out on in the port doing their thing. If you get back to the ship early enough, um, it's not as crowded to go do some things. Yeah, yeah. So, mm -hmm. all right. We hope that this kind of gave you an idea of what to do at Roton. I mean, like I said, just if you wanted to just stay in the port, it's an awesome port, but we want to give a shout out again to yeah. our awesome excursion. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like the excursion of a lifetime. Like yes. I said, it was a private, almost private. Yeah. It, was, it was great. Thank you, Herbert, Preston, Garrick, Luke, everybody. Yes, it was amazing. Um, hopefully we'll see all of those people again <laughs> yeah, yeah, next, next April. time we go there. Um, it should be another amazing trip. Hopefully we'll get some good videos and pictures. Yes, um, yeah. we'll, we might try to post a couple of the pictures on here for yeah. you, um, but hopefully next time we'll get even, you know, some more. Um, but yeah, if you ever want to go to Rotan and see the monkeys, da Daniel Johnson's is one of the best, <laughs> I think. I mean, yeah. there are other ones out yeah. there. 
Um, but that's the one that we picked. So if you know if you want to do that, um, go <laughs> ahead and book that. Yeah, I yeah. mean, because um, when you book through Carnival, you don't know which one you're gonna get. So do your research and find out. You know, if there's a specific one you want to do, you know, go with that one. Yep. So if you found anything in this video that you liked, please like and subscribe. It helps us out a ton. It definitely does. Um, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an upcoming video that we may have for you. That's right. Mm -hmm. So until next time, guys, have fun and be safe. Bye. Bye.